armed with a camera in one hand and a passport in the other. Join us as we seek out the sights, taste the food, check out the wildlife and battle language barriers in our quest for adventure. My name is David Postansky and this is my girlfriend Rachel Jane and we are jet lagged and loving it. So this is jet lagged and loving it and we're on our way to Germany via Brussels. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Rachel wouldn't normally count this, but we are in France right now, so get a get a glimpse of the French Look, countryside. Okay, just set them all up right if you can do that angle. Every time you make some comment like that, it's like, oh I feel bad we need to edit it out. Good. Edit the whole thing out. So we're just going to connections now. This is a really important time to video. Yeah, exactly. So where are we now? Which country is this? Belgium. I know two things about Belgium. One is chocolate, the other is Jean-Claude Van Damme. And Tinder. T Tinder? Tintin. Who's said Tinder? Swipe left. Cologne has some of the best Christmas markets you'll find in Europe. The most famous one is watched over by the beautiful Gothic Cologne Cathedral which is the most visited landmark in all of Germany. It's the perfect place to snap some incredible Christmassy photos, pick up some handmade gifts for the family, try some delicious local food, and for me, the perfect opportunity to test my German. European deal. She did a European deal. Have a wrap first here. Do you want to try any? Do you want a first bite? It's kind of bad. If the Bratwurst wasn't perfect, our next discovery was sure to change our festive menu for years to come. You have to tell the camera what this is. Langos. Langos. A deep white bread. Garlic cheese is one of my favourite things in the world. Yeah. It's like a really good garlic bread. It is. It goes up my nose. Like, you always see the bar quicker than me and that's not bad. We're here still at Das Winter Wonderland. Uh, and you've got, got glue, glue, glue wine, so it's made from glue, and I've got ear punch, which is either a punch in the ear or it's made from ear wax. Is that a That's a scream, so you'll be okay with that. You can manage the angles on your Yeah. Okay, are you going to try yours? Mm. I haven't tasted the actual stuff yet. Okay, here we go. I don't like it. I don't think you like it. It's gross. What's the taste of it? Ass. Like, you know, but not in a good way. What is a good way? You got it? Not nice. What about yours? Have you got it? Let me try yours. Don't drop it because I'm not nice. Glue wine. Yeah. What's it called? Oh, mulled wine, but blue wine. Glue wine. <laughs> That's disgusting as well. Eat the cream. <laughs> I'm going to eat the cream. It's a very expensive bowl of cream. Yeah. Down it. Down it, down it, down it, down it. Just for the video, let's act like we're really like enjoying it. So like, big cheers, ready? Yeah! <laughs> so, this is Extreme Championship Improv inside a German market after Glühwein 
and ear punch, which isn't an ear punch, it's earwax punch, like eggnog. So, uh, we're going to do a scene about being in Germany at Christmas. I know, right? Okay, and so, um, and like, okay, you give me a character. Okay, and we'll say you're um, Jack Sparrow. Right, so here we go. Ho, 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 little boy. What would you like for Christmas? Where's Swapgun? Ah, I think I know you. You're that pirate sword. You've not been very good this year, have you? Aye, aye. Where's Swapgun? Is this the only phrase you can go to? Aye, aye. Where's the bar? Where's the bar? Empty. <laughs> like and subscribe. Just go and stand with them and move your mouth. <laughs> go stand. Well, I will. Oh my god, you're so far. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> this is day number two here in uh, Germany. Rachel's here as well. So here is the cathedral, Didom. And there is the cathedral. And it says Advent Mach dich af und werde licht. And light as well. Something like that. I'm not very good at translating very well, but. I don't We ventured into the Dom, where we saw the incredible architecture. You could light a candle and get a healthy dose of religion. So we're here inside Dadam. I've just lit a candle for Jesus and um, we're going to see if we can get further in. And now there, here's some guide things but they cost a euro and I don't have a euro. So I'm going to give you all the benefit of a um, guided tour myself. I've just, as I said, lit, uh, lit a candle for Jesus and I found Rachel over here who's um, Dom Fear run 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 what does that mean? Dolphin. Um, Dolph Lundgren. Services. Dolph Lundgren. Oh. Do you know who Dolph Lundgren is? Right, so we're talking about Jean-Claude Van Damme. Um, he was in Universal Soldier with Jean-Claude Van Damme. We're going to Brussels tomorrow. I'm going home. Okay. So we're saying goodbye to Dadom. Um, but now we're going to go past Dean and David and we're going to go to a place where there are skeletons. Uh, it's like there's like 6,000 virgin skeletons for some reason. I think it sounds quite a dodgy place. Um, okay, so we were still doing our retrospective of the year. So we'd got up to, we'd done the Penai Palace in Lisbon. Uh, where was our next adventure? Kyoto. Yeah, exactly. So. 
Josh ripped his trousers. Did you hear that noise? I think he just dropped a cat. No, I think he rips his trousers. So. <laughs> The Tomb of the Six Thousand Virgins wasn't quite Comic Con as I expected. Now, this candle in at least two places in Germany. It had more candles you could light, but not much else going on there. So we had to find our own ways to make it interesting. Quick, baby. The stairs up there, quick. Let's go. It's not interesting at all. Okay, well, just follow me. Ready? Let's go. Watch the tomb. Baby, don't get separated. This way. The gates are locked. Okay, so we just come outside um, the St. Ursula Church and we didn't see the bones. It's because um, we didn't do our research properly. Rachel. And um, <laughs> uh, this is one of the things I found. And it turns out it's not 2,000, it's 11,000 virgins' bones, right? And it turns out it's just built on their graves. So this is a respectful place. Our adventures in Cologne will continue as we venture towards more Christmas markets, the Rhine, and of course, the Chocolate Museum. Until next time, we're still jet lagged and loving it. <laughs>